All right. Um, I I think we should be go. Good to go. I mean, all right. Uh, well, let's just let's just jump into it. Uh, hopefully the tech issues are done and everything looks moderately okay. We're gonna be jumping into it uh, after we silence everything. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. Uh. All right, yeah, yeah, let's let's jump into it, everybody. Let's go. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so we are gonna be playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Uh, not sure how much longer we're going to be going in for this game, but we're going to still go for it, obviously, until we, like, you know, maybe get, like, to raw yellow or something. Uh, so let's just, let's go to, it's like at night right now, so we're just going to go to sleep, actually. Uh, we have Sunday. Is there actually anything going on in the next few days or so? Take a look quick. Uh, so we have, ooh, a new pack is actually dropping on, th uh, when, Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, and then we do have an exam. Hello. Did they tell us what the actual thing was for the exam? I, I don't re remember. Uh, it should be fine though, so. I guess we'll also do, I guess I'll also use this to like kind of get people up to date about the new deck. So we've done a few changes when it came to the deck. So we added some like really good cards. Like uh, we actually were able to pull a Morphing Jar. And for those who do not know, Morphing Jar, when it's flipped face up, both opponents send all cards in their hand to the graveyard, then draw five. So like the idea for this card is to basically like you know set our entire back row, play our field spell, get our monsters out, and then just get a new hand with this guy. Really, really good. Uh, and then we're also what else do we add to it? I think we actually added a second copy of Little Chimera. Honestly, this is the Chimera that could. I actually really do enjoy using Little Chimera. It gives it a nice little push for extra damage. Uh, let's see. We have da, 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 da. we added the delinquent duo. Yes, we added the delinquent duo. The sheer factor of knowing what our opponent is playing in their hand and taking out two cards is just still really good. And uh, I had an entire Yu-Gi-Oh channel named after this card with a co-host, so of course I had to go for that. Uh, let's see. What else did we add to that? We also <laughs> we also off stream were able to pull premature burial. Like this card is kind of good like it's not as busted as it should be but the fact you can pay in her life points special summon a monster in attack mode is still pretty good you know I, I can't deny it's not a good card pika thank you for redeeming the first good to see you welcome back to the streams hope things are doing well for you we also got a copy of mage power this thing is busted we already play a pretty decent amount of spell and trap lineup so i mean this is nice super nice uh let's see anything else that we added to the deck I don't think so. We actually did switch over Goblin Elite Attack Force from Goblin Attack Force. It has a bit more defense. That's the only justification on that. Aside from that, the in the deck is pretty much the entire same. Let's punch me in the face. How about you? I feel that, Pika. Um, I'm very, very tired and very stressed a lot these days. Uh, going through a mortgage process, especially in this market, is uh, <laughs> it's pretty painful. <laughs> Uh, but we try to laugh it off. We try to laugh it off. Hopefully your endeavors also get taken care of here shortly as well. Stress twins, hell yeah, let's go. Uh, I think at this point, we'll actually duel Briar. Uh, so I duel, let's duel. Uh, yeah, we'll duel him. Deep breaths, cleansing breaths. Okay, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, we could fight him. Uh, I think if we fight him and Beauregard like five times each, I think it triggers their, like, side story event going on. Ooh, we drew Morphing Jar number one and two back row. That's actually pretty good. Yo, the Delinquent Duo. That's actually pretty... Oh, that's nasty. Um, oh, We drew the Spirit of Flames combo, so we kind of have to do this, unfortunately. So we're going to set... God, this looks so unnatural. <laughs> We're going to set those two, and we'll actually set the Morphing Jar. Hopefully, he's not packing a uh, heavy storm. Um, otherwise, we'll be kind of screwed. No, I won't be able to watch the direct tomorrow. I'll be at work tomorrow, and I also have an interview for where we're trying to go 
um, where the house, because the house is going to be in a park, so I'm going to have to not be able to really do anything with that, so now I have work tomorrow. Mad Sword Beast, and eh, that's fine. Christian, thank you for the lurk in the vent. Appreciate you, man. Enjoy Elden Ring. I'm hoping they announce, like, the classic games making to the Switch thing. And, of course, new Pokemon games. Those are my hopes. Do you have anything that you're hoping from the Direct coming out? Yeah, Morphing Jar is going to trigger, which is nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will as well. Honestly, it'd just be a shame that they didn't. They'd be able to make so much money off of that. Five bosses away from beating it. Dude, hell yeah. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Honestly, I'm pretty sure we'll get one of the two for sure. Um, and of course, like, you know, the inclusion of the uh, the new games and stuff like that. Robin Goblin. I don't like that. Made a list of full predictions. Hell yeah. Hopefully they all come true. Hopefully they all come true. So we do have Heavy Storm, but I don't want to get rid of some of our cards. So I think here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do giant true name. Oh, he's got the magic jammer. That's okay, actually. That's actually uh that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. When are you gonna play multiverses with chat so I can clap you with my level 95 Superman? Uh that's a good question. I'll, I'll when I talk to Metal, I'll I'll uh, give you an idea. Uh <laughs> Is your Superman really a level 95? Dude, that's actually really impressive. I didn't even know you can actually get that high of a level. So we got rid of Magic Cylinder, so that's actually pretty good. Um, We have UFO Turtles. Uh, we got Molten Destruction live, which is pretty good too, so that's actually fine. Grind the game a lot. I mean, nothing wrong with that, dude. If you enjoy the game, you enjoy the game. Uh, The only character I really play religiously is basically Finn the Human, and he's only at level like, what is he, like 27 or like 20 or something? So, dude, that's actually really impressive. Do you know how many hours you have in multiverses? Go to end phase. Oh, not the heavy storm. No. I mean, he's got one card in his hand, so it's not a horrible thing, but it's still pretty sad. We drew the one card we really needed a turn late. Oh, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> If we drew the magic chamber the turn before, we would be fine, but it's okay. Uh, another mad sword beast. Interesting. Uh, I mean, no complaints. No complaints. If it's just a mad sword beast, even a non-modified penguin to uh, creature can get. Internet ads? Oh, you got you gotta love the ads. You gotta love the ads. I'm just kidding. Uh, we got Blazing and Ponchi. We can actually use that. Love crappy internet provider ads. Mine are fit like the ones that are just kind of like funny or cringe, honestly. Like, uh, I think my favorite ones to watch these days, like, this is how it chews. Chew five gum. I actually said, this is how it chews to feel five gum. Lately, it feels like that. When I've been trying to talk, I get my sentences switched around and it causes a lot of confusion. Did you get snow? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, oddly enough, where we live, like, they get very concerned with snow. You get an entire two inches of snow, everything shuts down. Bruh. I know. Um, so, we got, like, maybe, like, two inches. What about you, Pika? Did you get any, get, uh, did you get any snow? Gameplay Boy 222, thank you for the lurk, man. Appreciate you. Hope you had a good stream uh, playing Dead Space earlier, dude. There it is. We beat Briar. Woohoo! Got snow for the first time, dude. Nice, or nice, Pico. Were you able to make any snow angels or snowmen? No, if I wasn't so nervous, I wouldn't have lost. I wouldn't have. Wow, well, they keep saying that. He keeps saying that, but I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, we got Chumley by the Crater making some grilled cheese. Stick it up for a mini snowman. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, like, that's the thing. A lot of the times when snow drops, if it's, like, too warm or too wet, it's just going to become, like, slush, you know? That's kind of like what happened for the majority of our place, but like some of it actually did stick, which kind of sucked actually for those who had to drive through it. Um, we have a dual Beauregard. Uh, no, I'm not very good, so I don't think I'll be much of an opponent. Oh, and you're not even scared to think of big old Frankenstein? Oh, you're so nice there, Banner. Kind of fun to see though. Oh, seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like absolutely. Like even driving earlier today, like. I actually had to take, like, a moment and just, like, appreciate how beautiful the snow was. Like, we don't get to see it too often, so when I do, it kind of is nostalgic, you know? It's my turn, so I think I'll draw. 
Ah, uh, there's nothing left to do, so I think I'm gonna end my turn there, Banner. All right, let's go, Patrick. Oh, uh, let's go with Trap Hole. Uh, Trap Hole's actually fine. Uh, MST is good, too. We got a copy of Great Angus in our hand, along with Inferno, so that's actually pretty fun. We also got the Book of Moon. We're gonna set the Book of Moon. Gotta set the Book of Moon. Do you have any more some, uh, snow coming up? Because I know some places are still getting, like, you know, some snow here and there. Goblin Elite Attack Force. Dang, that's actually kind of... Like, 2200 attack, even for, like, 2005? That's still pretty good for a level 4. <laughs> no? Eh, I mean, that's not too bad. At least you're able to enjoy it while it lasted. This dude is playing a 50... a uh, 60 card deck? Why? There's no grass is green in this game. <laughs> Banner Courage is fine. Graceful Charity. Oh, if only we had Magic Jammer. Whatever. If he draws anything, we could just trap hold. So it's fine. Oh, he's got up. This dude is just drawing for days. Holy crap. Uh, I think. Oh, wait. No, we don't have MST. We have MST in our hand. We don't have it on the field. So that's fine. I mean, it was the first time it's snowed since I was born. Since I don't have it for a long. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I mean, I would say never, you know. Um, but hopefully you do get some more snow. If not, there's always traveling you can do to be able to get more snow. Uh, let's get rid of this way. Uh, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of it? What do we get rid of? Yo, seven. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Uh, I expect Pot of Greed. This allows me to take two cards and draw from my deck. Uh, do we get anything good? Oh, Delinquent Duo. Yo, I would love to take this man's hand away from him. Oh yeah, snow is always nice to see. It's always it's like one of those things. It's nice to see, but not like to really deal with. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess we could drop a little chimera, give our creatures a little bit of a boost. Uh, don't be torrential. Oh wow, <laughs> I don't even really mind that too much. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. That's actually kind of funny. All right, go to combat. Uh, sorry for being tired, everybody. Uh, I might be yawning quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna swing. It's penguins. Ah, penguin soldier's fine. That's great. Uh, not a big deal, if anything. Like the rain a lot more? Do you just find the rain more relaxing at that point? I know some people really do dig it when it rains, because they say it just helps them sleep, but... Uh, I guess we can go with the Great Angus. Gotta go with the Great Angus. Yeah, I kinda figured as much. Like, for me, if it's, like, a light rain, like, yo, we're totally cool. We're pog. But if it's, like, you know, rain where it's, like, slamming down or just going really fast. I mean, at that point, it just becomes more of a distraction, you know? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Gonna wait for a few more days here? Oh, that's not too bad. Um, I mean, I guess it is, you know, it's getting, like, the way that I see it, it's actually getting closer to spring than it is for winter, so I guess it just kind of makes sense, right? Uh, we're gonna discard the UFO turtle. We're gonna destroy their face down monster. And this is actually kind of good because now it actually gives us a face, uh, a monster in the graveyard so we can banish with Inferno to special summon it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so we're gonna banish the. Uh, I guess we can just get rid of the little camera. I forgot they used Trap Hole earlier. Summon Inferno. Uh, this puts us at 47, so it puts him at 15 if this all goes through. Yo, let's go. It's going to go through. It's going to go through. Yo, it's AM. Let's go, dude. Man, it's good to see you. Hope you are doing well, ATM. What have you been up to, man? We actually, uh, I haven't actually got to talk to you the past few days. How are you doing, man? Or I would say about a day and a half, though. Right? We actually have a bar. There is actually authority now in chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, photo turtle's not bad. Um, I think I will s just have Great Angus attack directly. Yo, let's go. Fire, save me. No, it's not gonna happen. Uh, 366. Oh, not too bad. I already told you, I really didn't want to do it. Sorry there, Vader, but we had to do it. How am I doing? I am very tired. Uh, got quite a bit of work done, though, actually, today, which is good. Um, 
But this week is going to be pretty crazy, so I can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> uh, but got some drum tracks done and some finance, but I'm far less busy now. I'm going too hard the past few days. Oh, dude, absolutely, man. I mean, especially with that stuff, you kind of have to go 100 miles an hour, right? So it's all good, man. Hope you're able to get some good gaming in soon. Um, We have our... Is this today? Yeah, so we have Sunday. So I think we have an exam coming up this week. What do I got going on this week? Uh, I got work. The house. Okay, so we have. I have work this week, obviously. So that's that's fine. I also have some overtime to to do. Uh, tomorrow we have an interview to go to for like the place where the house that we're looking into buying is, so they can approve us basically just being residents there. That should be easy though. Uh, and then Wednesday we have an inspection for the house that we're potentially going to hopefully buy. Um, and you've already talked about that quite extensively, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, but we have also been just been moving stuff in and out between the house and the storage unit that we're currently at. So it's been a little bit of everything and everything else going on. Uh, I've also trying to get some like, you know, TikTok stuff and like just YouTube stuff worked on as well. Um, and stop playing clone hero and <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's also something I need to stop doing. <laughs> oh, let's go with Tails this time. Yo, let's go. All right, let's go first. Metal hates JRPGs, part 16 confirmed. Hey, that is not true, ATM. If I really hated JRPGs, would I have spent an hour trying to find a copy of Metroid Prime Res Remastered? I don't think so. Bruh. Got you. Got him. Roasted. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a T set and just pass turn. It's not a JRPG. <laughs> I know it's not, but like, you know, it's, uh, you know, they're related. They're related, right? Right. By the way, ATM, that reminds me. Um, I was actually going to ask you if you happen to find a physical copy of Metroid Prime remastered for the Nintendo Switch. If you pick it up and ship it to me, dude, I will, I will send you the money back plus a little like, you know, thank you. Thank you. Like that shit's hard to find. Uh, we have Heavy Storm! I think we're gonna go with the Heavy Storm. What do you guys think? We're gonna go with Heavy Storm. Oh, and it resolves! Let's go, baby! It resolves. That is hella good. Um, I could summon Thestios to Firestorm Monarch. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. The reason why we're gonna do that is because we can pitch out the last card in his hand and just not happen. It's not gonna happen! Keep an eye look out for it. Seriously, I was expecting the place that, like, the few places I did check out that it was going to be there. But, like, it wasn't. It just wasn't there. So I'm like, I, I can't really do much onto it. Like, uh, but it is fine. It's fine. I'm not going to spend more, like, I'm not going to spend more than, like, what the scalpers are trying to charge for. Like, no, 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 no. We don't do that. We don't do that here. I mean, I like the game, but I also want to get a mortgage. So you, 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 got, you got priorities to set, right? You got priorities. Look at this. We got 4,900. Let's go. Hope it gets restocked soon. I hope so too. Honestly, I'd imagine it would be because Nintendo doesn't realizing it, but they've been killing it with the Metroid Prime series and also with the Metroid in general. Because, like, Metroid Dread did really good. Uh, Metroid Prime 1 was amazing. Metroid Prime 2 is okay. I haven't played 3. The other M, I've been told not to talk about it. Um, is it limited time? No, I don't think they announced anything with it being limited time only. It's just people want it because it's that good of a game. That game is, like, really, really good. You enjoy Dread? No, I dread it the entire time. Nah. I actually haven't played Dread yet. Um, so... Yeah, I haven't played it yet. <laughs> uh, it's not a JRPG, so I couldn't play it. What do you want from me, baby? Mario 3D All-Stars, though, was... Yeah, that was weird, though. So, like, it was really weird that they made that at, like, a limited time thing only. But they printed it to oblivion. Like, I'm still seeing new copies sitting on the store shelves. Whether that's intentional or not, like, they printed that thing to oblivion. 
Fun fact, I actually got my copy like two days earlier because Jeff Bezos, I was like, hey, Amazon, give it to him like early. I'm like, oh shit, this is so cool. But I want to play it. And I want to stream it. But I don't want to stream it two days earlier because I'm afraid that the got pirated it. But no, 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 I don't do that. I don't do that. Uh, let's just go, uh, go to Pete. If there's a new game, Metal Skip at 100%. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Uh, like, I'll buy it sometimes and just not play it. Like, But in my defense, ATM, Sonic Frontiers. I've been... I've been diligent. <laughs> Very diligent with Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> All right, we're good now. I've heard there's a big dude who steals cards from duelists at night. <laughs> Seems like he likes going after superior people, whatever that means. Oh man, what if he takes my best cards? Yeah, you better watch out. You don't want to lose that card your brother gave you. My harpy. Oh, wow. Over there. Wait, what? Hi, we have a new pack today. I didn't think catch your eye. Ooh, let's go. New pack, uh, Trap Special 2. Oh, that is good. Bro's got a Christmas tree. He's super festive. What do you want from it, Pika? He's super festive. Um, Trap Special 2 is looking pretty sus. Yo, we got, we got pack 4B. It's actually pretty good. We actually got 4B. <laughs> Uh, we kind of overhyped the hell out of five or uh, four A, but we got four B. <laughs> That's elemental hero Avion. We could actually potentially build heroes, though. I think our heroes this early in the game is uh, kind of trash because we only have access to Sparkman, the basic four. We have Bubble Man. We have up to Cybernetic Revolution. For those who don't know what that means, it means uh, we have we have very little support. But let's go with Trap Special too. Um, let's go with seven packs, right? Is this okay? Yeah, this is fine. I was gonna go for the five. Blasting the Ruin. Blasting the Ruins is a fun card. Ceasefire is not too bad. Malevolent Catastrophe. Yo, we got a playset almost in that card. Blasting the Ruins. Solomon's Longbook. Hidden Soldier. Yo, we got a playset of uh, the Statue of the Wicked. Kind of. That pack actually kind of hurt. Like, personally. Ceasefire, Statue of the Wicked, Chain Disappearance. That's that might be it, honestly. Um Arrival Appears is actually Loki a pretty decent trap card. Because you selected a one face-up monster your opponent controls on their field and special summon a monster at the same level. So it's not bad. It's not level restricted. It's just it has to become situational with you and your opponent. Which, back in this day of Yu-Gi-Oh! is not too uncommon for that to happen, so... Uh... You know, we make bad financial decisions in this game, so we're just gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep blowing our money on Trap Special, too. Uh... Actually, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll go, we'll go half-seas. We'll go half-seas, right? We'll do six more packs of this, and I think we're gonna go with, uh, 4B as well. Because that's a new pack as well. <clears throat> Friday two eight team. Yo, draining shield. Oh man, that's actually not too bad. Ooh, we got a second copy. Draining shield negates one attack, but you do get the life points too, which is good. Reckless greed is good if we want to push for more aggro. But here's the thing, I don't like doing that. Draining shield is always, it's it's kind of cool. It's also a Jaden Yuki card. So if I want to you know cosplay as Jaden Yuki with the VTuber avatar, you know that's always a possibility. But I'll never do that. I, I would not. Um, somebody else does it much better than I ever could. Uh, but let's go with 4B. Um, we might get something really good. We might get something really bad, but it's all for the fun of the game. Is this how okay? Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, Divine Dragon of Ragnarok. Came with the money below. Meteor Strike. Sparkman. There you go. Uh, another Divine Dragon. Mule Captains. Ooh, Phoenix Wing Windblast. We actually have, yeah, have nothing. Oh, man. This pack. Oh, this hurts. Okay, Lightning Vortex is actually pretty good. Discard one card from your hand, destroy all face-up monsters in your opponent's side of the field. It's pretty good because one, it's a lower powered version of Regeki, but two, discarding a card from our hand at the graveyard is really good because we can just discard our fire monster, have fuel for Spear of the Flames or Inferno. Bada bing, bada boom, you, you, you're good to go. You're good to go. So not too bad, not too bad. Wait up, Gradius! 
Jaden and Chumley have both have detention again. I don't like going home alone. Want to go home together? Uh, sure, we can walk home with Cyrus. Thanks, Gradius. Jaden and Chumley and me usually walk home together, so it felt weird heading back alone. Let's go. But I don't go to the dorm anymore. We're raw yellow. Thanks, Gradius. Bye. Now we have to go all the way back to our own tower dorm. Oh, sweet. Dual Academy is hoping a special exhibit on Yugi Moto's deck. Yugi f Moto. Let's go. Yugi Moto. The Yugi Moto, the first king of games. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really now? Excellent. What's up with him? We gotta get a copy of the ticket for the Yugi Moto deck event. Written exams are my specialty. Sorry, old chap, but I'll be getting the highest score. Oh, shit, it's our exams. Uh, best of luck, everybody. We have an exam time. First is a written exam. All right, let's go. Uh, You make... Yeah, you make a Laverick tank. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school. Uh, you make this. Katamari attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Katamari attack. Uh, the three type of guy, which has the highest attack, 26, 23, 23. It's Guy the Dragon Champion. I didn't study for this at all, Pika, besides, like, you know, the past 20 years of my life. Which monster could be equipped with laser cannon armor? It's... Neobug? Yeah, 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 Neobug. Let's go. This exam is pretty easy, Pika. Which dual monsters are destroyed with Dark Dust Spirit summoned? Um, All monsters on the field other than Dark Dust Spirit. I think this is the correct answer. Well, f me. Which monster could be equipped with Ritual Weapon? Uh, funnily enough, we actually just pulled the scar, so it's Dorito. Or Doritos. Dorito do. Uh, you make Guilt of the Dark Knight. Which rock monster has the highest attack? Uh, Valkyria the Magna Warrior seems like a good recommendation, like a good guess. Yeah. 35, I think, is what it has. Which machine monster has the highest defense? Uh, it's Gear Golem, the Moving Fortress. This is at 21. This is 19. This is 22. Hey, let's go. Which is the effect of some Harpy Lady Sisters? Uh, elegant Egotist. I play Harpies quite a bit on Duel Links, so of course I would know that. Uh, time Duels? No, we don't need to hear about that. So, seven minutes, and I believe we just have to win in one turn. Uh, let's see, we have Kaiku, we have Kangaroo Champ, Tragedy, what does Tragedy do? Uh, you can only activate this card when your opponent's monster in the field. Uh, you can only activate this card when a monster on your opponent's side of the field, uh, in the face-up attack positions, change the defense position. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, let's see, so... What does Kangaroo Champ do? A monster that balances this to change the defense position after damage calculate. Uh, Wing Karibo. When this card is in the field, the short is set to grave its effect after, after activation. During this turn, any battle damage controller takes is zero. Okay, so based on what I think we do is we summon little Karibo. Wing Karibo, I'm sorry. Wing Karibo is going to attack uh, Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. I'm gonna... Wait, oh, it's after activation! I am so dumb! Oh, I'm so dumb because damage happens and then it's a fact activates. I am terrible. Huh? Where's my secret ace of the... Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Just know all the solutions. All right. Um, Shit, we actually might get demoted. Unless we do really good on the practical exam, we might get demoted. Uh, Direct damage. The key is to deal damage outside of the battle during... Oh, oh that kind of sucks. Outside of battle during the duel. Is your deck ready? No, we got to do some edits. All right. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. So we're going to pretty much change up quite a bit of our strategy. So we're going to get rid of Penguin Soldier. Uh, get rid of Tribute to the Doomed. We need to do direct damage. So like effect damage outside of battle, according to him. Inferno is actually going to be really good. Because if we could just keep boosting up Inferno's attack and just destroying monsters, he can deal 1,500 points effect damage. Uh, Ultimate Baseball Kid's actually pretty good, too, because he can send monsters to the graveyard and deal 500 burns. Same thing with Destios, the Firestorm Monarch. Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Uh, I mean, he's fine. We can keep him. Not a big deal. Um, I guess we can get rid of Manny or Bug, too. All right. So let's just get a bunch of, like, burn damage cards. Like, some pretty easy, cheap burn damage cards where we can just deal damage. Um, So let's see. 
Final Flame is actually pretty solid. Okazi is actually pretty good solid, too. Uh, so we'll throw in a co few copies of that. Tremendous Fire as well. Uh, more Okazi. This just deals 800. This does 1,000 to them and 500 us. So it's actually pretty decent for the uh, event going on. Uh, yo, we got a copy of Card Destruction? When did that happen? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, we actually pulled this off stream, but I can't even use it. Man, Mobs Reborn would just been such a good addition to the deck. Same thing with Change of Heart, but that's okay. Uh, Restructor Revolution is actually not bad. This does like 200 per card in their hand, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's actually not too bad. Um, and I think we might be okay. Nightmare Steel Cave... No, I don't want to. I don't want to drag the game out too long. So we'll throw in some copies of Meteor Destruction as well. It's going to prevent us from doing the battle phase and allow us to have more turns. To we do the direct damage, so we'll just do that. That's fine. Hey, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. Oh, uh, we got quite a bit of spells in our opening hand, so it's actually not bad. Magician of Faith. Oh, that's actually beautiful. We can recycle some of the cards too. Um, so we're going to activate Meteor Destruction, Okazi, there you go, 18 right out of the bat, 18 right out of the bat, uh, we'll set Magician of Faith so we can be able to use it to get back Meteor Destruction, and then do damage that way. Fire Princess, there you go, she also does burn damage too if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Alright, so Magician of Faith is going to trigger and allow us to get a copy back of Meteor of Destruction. Uh, M2, they're setting one card. Okazi is next. What do you do, actually? Oh, take a look. Uh, inflict 500 damage here each time you increase your own life points. Hopefully they don't do that. Uh, so Meteor of Destruction. That resolves, so that's good. Oh, damn! Unfortunately, we can't go to battle phase either now because we did that, but it is what it is. Um, will summon Great Angus. It's still enough to get over it, though I don't think we can actually... Oh, I thought we couldn't attack. Huh. Uh, Meteor Destruction. What's the downsides for it? You cannot activate this. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why, but I thought Meteor of Destruction could not be activated if you already go into your battle phase, but I guess it only just stops it for, like, the amount of... You gotta be kidding me! Shinato? Oh, man, that's awful. All right, yeah. <laughs> yes, we actually have it out. We actually have it out. All right, all right. I feel better now. I feel much better. As long as they don't top deck into like, uh, as long as they don't top deck into something like uh, Heavy Storm, Double Men of Extermination or Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Marie the Fallen one. Not bad. He had I don't know how to say that, but it's something like that. You fool. You've activated my trap card. Sakuretsu's armor. This gets ready for Shinato, the king of higher plane. Uh, little Chimera. The little Chimera that could. Not bad. Uh, we'll summon Ultimate Baseball Kid. To the field. Into attack mode. Um, we'll attack with Blazing and Pa. No, 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 no. Uh, the, again, the key factor is to do as much effect damage as possible. Um, and we need to offset the loss from the time duel to get as high as we possibly can on a writ on the practically. Hey, oh, that's a shame. Oh wait, I'm smart. We can uh, in two turns once they actually have Marie the Fallen. Like, you know, trigger twice, they'll be at 31, and we can use Meteor Destruction getting. Ha 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 ha, it's fine. We we are fine. Ha 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 ha. So, pass turn. Let's go. Appreciate it, ATM. So, that's puts him at 29. So, now we just have to wait one more turn. Premature Burial, huh? Oh, uh, we got Great Angus. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. So, next turn, we might be able to win... Which is basically uh, grit, I guess, at that point. So now they're at 31. So they're now at the point where we can actually use uh, whatever it's called, Meteor of Destruction. Perfect. 
Uh, we'll summon the Great Angus. Uh, we will then activate Premature Burial. And here's where things are going to get really interesting, everybody. Uh, we're going to bring back another copy of Great Angus. Um, and this is what kind of sucks, too. Like, look at our boy. Ultimate Baseball Kid is literally at 5,000 attack as a level 3-star monster. I love it. But the thing is, we can't win with him direct attacking because it reduces our overall score. So what we can do instead is we can use his secondary effect, uh, which we've never actually used before. So we can send a copy of Little Chimera to the Grave, deal 500. There's no clause on how much we can actually do this. So we can just keep sending shit to the graveyard and doing quite a bit of an effect damage. And overall, that's what we want to do. That's how we want to win this game, Yugi. So we're going to keep doing that. Put him down to pretty much everything. And then we're going to attack for Ultimate Baseball Kid for the win. And hopefully that gives us enough to go into the next dorm or stay in our current one. Oh, they have Enchanted Javelin. <laughs> okay, okay. He's still alive. He is still alive by a 300 now, technically. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Oh, we got Trapple, too. Uh, no, nah, it's fine. We could, we could just go for the win. Um, we easily did at least six to 8,000 points of effect damage. So I'm going to say we probably aced this exam. No problem. Oh, we came so close. So 247 out of 300. I don't know what the percentile of that is, but it's probably like in the mid 80s to 80s. Uh, no, it's probably like mid 70s, early 80s, I think. That hopefully is enough to maintain our current GPA. Dorm switch exam is finished. Yo, bingo. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well this morning. Uh, we got 74th ranking. We beat Briar, Beauregard, and Jade and Yuki. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> I'm doing okay, bingo. How are you doing tonight? I'm shocked that I did not achieve a high grade on the practical exam. But this is not an issue. My written portion was quite excellent. Doing good things. Glad to hear anything fun going on today. Congratulations, you passed. You deserve, you're deserving of Fiery Duelist. You can keep the dueling, but shouldn't you take a look at time duels? If you want to raise your rank to the next rank, answer 25 time duels questions correctly. Due to your results, you can choose between Raw Yellow and Slifo Red. You can enter one of the two dorms. Choose. Uh, I think we're going to stick with Raw Yellow. Um... We still got to trigger the Briar and Beauregard event and also the uh, Yugi deck exhibit. So we're going to stick with Raw Yellow for that. Understood. I expect you to study hard at Raw Yellow. Work mostly? Uh, that's not a bad thing. Hopefully work goes by really well for you. Hopefully it goes by quick and it's just a good day for you. Uh, we can duel Beauregard, Briar. I mean, it's like the same thing. Unfortunately, no event is really triggering yet just because we're still not a superior duelist. Uh, which I think that might be what we have to wait until it actually happens. Uh, for now, though, let's get rid of all the stuff we just threw in our deck and refix it. Uh, because we threw in so many burn cards that it's not even funny. Like, we put in so many cards just to do burn damage, we need to start taking some Alva Vera to feel better. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Um, some of the cards we did take out were Penguin Soldier... I think that was like the big one. I know that was one of the ones that we took out, but we'll probably just also add certain things back too. Uh, Magician of Faith is a fine. We also took out a Manor. Yeah, Manor Bug was taken out too. I remember that. Uh, let's see. Dark? Oh, no, no, no. Morphing Jar is still in there. That's good. Little Chimera is still at two, so that's correct. Put in a Penguin Soldier. The boy, he can bop them back up. Oh, no, I'm not going to put in Jinzo. I feel like if we put in Jinzo, it'll just like throw up the dichotomy of our deck because we do have quite a bit of traps that we actually do uh, use quite often. Uh, let's see. We also need to add a copy back of uh, whatchamacallit. Um, Goblin Elite Attack Force because we did take him out, I believe. Uh, let's see. Memphis, is this a fire? No, it's a dark guy. He just does piercing damage. He doesn't have a lot of value. Burno's at... We need to get more copies of that or something. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Two of him is fine. That's fine. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. 
I'm kind of tempted of actually testing this card out. This card can attack your opponent's life points directly each time it does successfully. It gains a thousand attack. Um, like 1100 is nothing. However, if we do have our modifiers on the field, he can be up to 16 or 21, depending on how much we do have after just one direct attack. And that's when things start, you know, getting value. But like aside from that, we just need to make sure we can protect it. And I feel like right now with our trap lineup, not having like mirror force, it's not super consistent. Um, so that takes care of that for the monsters. So we'll actually go up to the top, then we're going to switch up to some of the traps. That's going to go. Almost there. Uh, Trapsy. Uh, negate attack is at one. That's fine. Trap ball at two is good. Seven tools. We don't really need to worry about that. Oh, yeah. We actually did. Uh, no, we're not going to use Seize Fire. Seize Fire is at one? R really? Wow, that is so interesting. The fact that Seize Fire is only at one back in the day is just kind of like a testament of how far things have changed. Seriously. Uh, yeah, we have two Sakuratsu's armor is actually pretty good, too. Uh, Compulse is really good as well. Draining Shield. We might. Add in a copy or two. Here, here a signal. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, fire art, actually. Uh, oh, okay. It's just basically uh, a one for one in a sense. That's not too bad. And then let's see for spells. Because we have 39 cards. I think we started the game with 41 cards in our main deck. So we need to we need to add something else, like give it a little bit more size. Um, let's see. Megamorph. I mean, honestly, Megamorph is pretty good no matter how you splice it. Because you can equip it to your monsters when you're doing when you have less life points, or you can equip it to your opponent's monsters when you're ahead, so you can make their monsters significantly weaker. So, like honestly, it's a pretty nice little nifty card because you can just mess with it, whatever works best for you. Uh Fisher is not bad, but we don't need to really Fisher. Ought to agree to what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? Oh, yeah. We took out a copy of Tribute to Doom. That's what we took out. Um, And we still have the one copy of Heavy Storm. That hasn't changed. Uh, We kept the Delinquent Duel because it's just so good. MST is still in. Painful Choice is banned. Of course it is because it's Painful Choice. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Noble Bit of Crossout? Yeah, I kind of actually want to throw that in. Yeah, let's throw it in. Premature Barrel was actually pretty good last game, too. I think we're good. Mage Power is so good. Lightning Vortex. Ooh. And I need to do some testing with that. Well, uh, emergency, provi <laughs> emergency Provisions is that, too? That's interesting. That Mirage of Nightmare combo is just, I guess, that concerning for the entire game to deal with. Um, I think we're good. I think the deck is more or less back to where it was before. Yeah, I want to say we're probably good. No, we're not using back to square one. That's in the other game. For those who don't know, I've also been doing a playthrough a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force, and that's actually been pretty fun, honestly. Tag Force is also really fun. Definitely much more updated. Just looks overall better, too, because it's on the PSP, as opposed to just, you know, basically... Uh... What? Uh... The GBA. How much newer is it? Um, I want to say a good three or four years, dude. Uh, because that one I think goes up to Cyber Dark Impact or one of the more mid-season GX sets, while this one goes to, like the very beginning of GX. So definitely much later on, and it shows. I'll I'll show you some like video or something of it later, dude. And it's also pretty cool, too, because you can explore the island freely as opposed to, like, what this is, right? Like, this is more akin to, like, a visual novel, while the other one's actually, like, exploring and shit, which is pretty cool. Uh, honestly, and just a lot of, pro like, production value to it as well. Um, Technically, we need to go home, but I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, where's, the, where's Dimitri? Let's just go beat Dimitri. Wait, he's not even here. Do we have any money? 
You have like nothing. Never mind. Sorry, Sadie. Sorry, Sadie. Uh, Chaz Princeton. We've already beaten him to like, you know, merciless mode. Uh, let's see. No, Dimitri. There's Briar. Santaer. Hmm. Why is it the one duelist I actually want to face not even out and about? That is so annoying. Uh, let's just go to uh, Jaden's room. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> oh, wow. He's at the front of the school. Uh, that looks kind of sus. Let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, they gave all the books. I'll put that I have street smarts too. Uh, I guess we... We'll duel him. I don't know if this is going to be our fifth duel against him. But I think what we'll also do, the Proctor did tell us that we need to like get to the next rank. So I think we'll actually do some time duels as well, just to like get those out of the way. Ooh, the Languid Duo. Yo. Let's activate it. Start off the game by getting rid of two cards in his opening hand. We got rid of Heavy Storm and Ring of Destruction. Hell yeah, that's actually really good. Uh, because now our ultimate baseball kid isn't going to die super quickly. Uh, that is pretty good. That's why I love Delinquent Duo. It's just so good. Man, that dude had so much back row even still. Uh, summon a second copy of Great Angus. Trap hole. Is that really what you want to do? Uh, go to Great Angus. Go to combat. We're going to swing your face down there, my guy. At this point, I'm literally just trying to bait out all the traps. Mirror Force? That's fine. I, uh, I I can't wait till I get my own copy of Mirror Force. I can't wait to give my own enemies a taste of trust issues. The dude is rocking a baby dragon. Yo, he's playing that ATM deck. Let's go. Uh, negate attack. We'll just negate the entire phase. Uh, compulsory evacuation device. That's actually not bad. Lady Ninja, yay. Uh, discard one wood monster from your hand to the graveyard. Return all smaller traps to your opponent control. That is actually kind of good. That's actually kind of good. It actually is basically a copy of, uh, what is it called? Uh, giant Trune, but on a body. Of course, you have to discard a card, so it's not as good. But, you know, you can you can make an argument that it's not terrible. Ultimate Baseball Kill, be able to destroy... Oh, man, that kind of actually sucks, actually. Um, We're going to go for the baby dragon. It's just too strong. Eventually, in 100 years to 1,000 years, it'll become a 1,000 dragon. That's kind of concerning. We got to get rid of that. on the just pass turn. Uh, that's right. Let's go to defense mode. Let's go. Uh, we might be able to attack over it uh, with Inferno and do some burn damage and then attack directly with uh, Ultimate Baseball Kit, but we will see. Yeah, we can attack over with an Inferno, which is good. Trap hole, huh? Oh, I hate Fairy Box. Though, this is okay. So, Fairy Box is actually a very obnoxious card in this game, especially when they have an attack position monster. But with... Their monster being in defense mode, it's not so bad because I'll only be taking 200 points of damage per wrong declaration as opposed to taking more damage and also losing a monster. So, like, it's not fun, but it's not as bad as it could possibly. Be. That makes sense. Uh, so we're going to pay 800 to activate premature burial and we'll bring back the Great Angus. Great Angus is USDA approved. Uh, we'll go for the Inferno attack because we could potentially get more effect damage burn this way. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, that's that's fine. So we take 200 points for that. But what's the likelihood of them getting it correct again? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, a third time. <laughs> What's the likelihood of having it three times in a row? <laughs> All right. Okay. I was about to say, like, if it was three times, like, yo, hacks, but we're good. We're good. All right. So, past turn. Third turn. Although, I wish. I mean, honestly, I would be like, yo, okay. At that point, whatever. It's fine. 
Ooh, they're just putting a card face down. So that's actually pretty good. I think Mirror Force is at one of this game. So this is where Metallic potentially can do some uh, big boy damage. Uh, go to combat, and then I'm going to swing with the ultimate baseball kit first. I've had it. We're pissed. Yes, they missed. All right, let's go. Damage like normal. Let's go. Come on, miss, miss. Yay, let's go. All right, you know what? That's fine. They got the entire turn to, like, you know, get, like... I'm assuming at this point, to be fair, it's going to be correct. Watch, this one will be correct. Oh, we got a three for three. Let's go. All right, we pretty much won this game at this point because we have Trap Hole, we have Compulse, so they summon anything. They're not even paying the life points. They're desperate. They lost. Ooh. I think we'll actually switch over our... Uh... Ah, your food is pretty good. I think we'll switch Infernal to Defense Mode uh, because there's no need. Uh, and then we'll try attacking directly and just go for game. Torrential isn't triggered by a uh, setting card, so we should be safe. And we're just going to attack directly with Ultimate Baseball Kid. Ha ha! Let's go. I lost? I can't win with this powerful deck? No, not at all. Not at all. All right, now that we're actually home, uh, this is where we can actually take advantage of doing some of the time duels. So I, I guess we kind of got to do that according to our teacher so let's do time duel we've already done nine of them which is pretty cool so we just need to do like what 16 more and we're good uh let's do number seven let's see what we got here so they have balloon lizard put a counter on this i don't think it really matters this card is destroyed and flick damage equals with the number of counters times 400 uh let's see so we we could do change of heart. Okay, so we could do change of heart. Big evolution pill. Reptile for all to try the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we could do 24 there. And Book of Taiyu. We'll have a face down monster on the field and a face up attack position. Um, How do we... Because we could do 24. We'll have a face down monster on the field and a face up attack position. So what is that even going to really do for us? Dark Triceratops. We don't really have a way. So change of heart. We could then normal summon this. Offer us tribute. Special summon one. Oh, for whatever reason, I thought we had to offer two monsters. No, this is fine. This is fine. So offer Balloon Lizard. Now we get the special summon Dark Triceratops. I thought we had to get rid of both of our monsters. So I was like, wait, this isn't working. But no, 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 no. We're good. Then we could just normal summon uh, Man Eater Bug. And then we just went for the game. Because we can do 28, uh, 2850 at this point. I got this, like, I'm so used to playing um, the new dinosaur deck in Duel Links. Well, a Master Duel. Not really so new, but, like, we have to offer two. Like, I guess that's, like, what kind of threw me up. So, we're good. All right. So, one down. Satsuke Armor Spell Cancel. That's gross. Where are you playing? <laughs> Tsukiyomi is a Book of Moon, yeah? Uh, let's see. When this card is normal, summon flip, uh, blah, 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 blah. Flip one monster face down. Okay, so we got to do this so we can be able to do Spell Cancer. So, we can get rid of it. Uh, and then we can do Tribute to the Doom. We'll get rid of our Lightning Vortex to get rid of the face down spell canceler. Then we just attack directly. Easy. And we failed so bad at the last time, Duel. I still kind of feel bad about that. All right. So, number nine. Is this Fairy Box? Please tell me it's not Fairy Box. It's Gravity Bind. Oh, that's not as bad. We got Blue Eyes, White Dragon. We got Kaiser Glider, Sword, Purity Light. So, this should be easy, actually. So, back to square one, first off. Uh, we'll discard the Kaiser Glider because that doesn't really do anything right now. So, we're going to return this back to the top of their deck. Uh, yeah, they gave us way too many cards to this puzzle. Like, this is easy. We're already done. 
Jinzo's gonna activate, negating the effect of the face of gravity by. So now Jinzo can attack directly and just go for game. Easy. All right, uh, number 11. Oh, this is the one that we failed. Okay, okay, okay. This is the one that we kind of messed up. Um, what is this? Earthbound spirit. Okay, so. Little wing Karibo. Part of the field destroyed, sent to the grave. It's back to activate. After the activation, there's enemy battle to enter the curl trailer. Takes is. So, I guess what I messed up. We have 11, we have 800, so we can't, do we take damage cost from this? Uh, after with the monster that bounces this card, change defense position. Um, tragedy. Destroy all defense position monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So if we attack into, okay. Got it. Okay. I think I got it. So go to combat. Kangaroo Champ is going to attack Haiku. We're going to take a thousand. Haiku's going to do nothing, really. Kangaroo Champ changes its defense mode. That now allows us to activate the activation of Tragedy, which destroys all of their monsters. And then we attack with uh, the Gemini Elves. Uh, that was my mistake the first time. Is that I thought Wing Karibo's effect activated after destruction, not after damage calculation. So that's my fault. Uh, let's see. We got Kozaki. We got Breaker. Breaker's so good. They got Jinzo. So we summon, obviously we summon Breaker to deal with the Jinzo. Like one trap of the field and destroy it. And at the okay, so Kozaki self destruct button. Whoever destroyed this card, ah, I got you. I got you. We got this. So we summon Breaker the Magical Warrior. We use Breaker the Magical Warrior's effect to destroy a premature burial, thus destroying the Jinza. And then we're gonna use Breaker the Magical Warrior. We're gonna swing and destroy this card. With this flipping up the Crimson Ninja, he destroys our face down card and it blows up and deals a thousand. So we get the win. So GG. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, number 14. What do we got here? Penguin Soldier, Jax Knight, uh, Kane Dragon. What's your effect? If there's a monster in your field that you cannot. If there is a monster on your side of the field, you cannot normal summon this card. In addition, there are no dragon type monsters except this card on your side of the field. This card cannot. Got it. All right, we're good. Easy. Uh, so I'm assuming the monster in our graveyard is a level 50, is 1500 attack or more dragon. So we're going to use Penguin Soldier to flip effect to bring those back bats at the hand. We'll then normal summon the cave dragon. He can't attack right now, but that's fine. Premature burial to bring back what? Black land fire dragon? Oh, it's divine dragon and Ragnarok. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I still need to play Ragnarok too, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, go to combat, and then we're going to swing for 3,500. So we got the game. GG. GG. Ten more. All right. Next. Let's see. What do we got here? So Emperor Mantis. We have Yumi. We have Megamorph. Uh, what does Ambitious Bogrock MK3 do? As long as this card... Ooh, <laughs> I kind of like the look of that. Um, I kind of like the look of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of do. Uh, okay, I got this. I, 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 got, I got this. I got this. So we're going to activate Premature Burial. Premature Burial is going to bring back Dark Elf. <laughs> I believe in you. I appreciate TM, but... Yeah, yeah, we got this. We This is an easy one. We got this. I already saw what we need to do. Like, when I was, like, looking at everything, I was like, yo. Fine. Uh, so we're going to use Megamorph. Even though we're in the lead right now, we're going to use Megamorph to reduce its attack. Uh, quite a bit, actually, unfortunately. Go to combat. We're going to use Dark Elf's attack. That's going to cost us to pay 1,000 light points. And then we're going to take 200 points of damage, putting us at 27. Which means now our monster attack is doubled and it can attack directly. So, easy. Yeah, we're going to attack directly with its effect. You gotta love life point manipulation one. A lot of fun, actually. All right, next one. 
Krask? Ooh, we get to play Clown Control? My brother just broke, but we play Clown Control. Um, so we can declare Warrior with Tribe Infecting Virus, but Jinzo will still be on the field. So we need to get rid of Jinzo. We need to get rid of Jinzo first. So put him to attack mode. Blast Clown activates return it to the hand. Uh, I mean, we could do, it, it really depends. We can't attack anything else besides Jinzo, I don't believe. Um, We'll get rid of Jinzo. Private infecting virus. So we can use his effect. Oh, wait, we got this. We got this. Yeah, GG, GG, got it. All right, so DNA surgery, we're gonna activate. We're gonna declare warrior. So everything on the field is now warrior, right? Or, yeah, yeah. So then we can use tribe infecting viruses effect. We can pitch a card from our hand to destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field of the same type. So we declare warrior. Yeah, yeah, we're still, we're still good. We're still good. Uh, after everything gets destroyed, we then use Calm the Haunted. Uh, we're going to bring back Tribe Infecting Virus, uh, which is at 1,600 attack, which is still enough to win per game. So, all right. I'm like, wait. Uh, yeah, I could, I could say this. I could say this. GG. Uh, that, that was the full... That was the FC. That was the full combo. All right, next one, uh, Marauding and Donzel. What? Why? Why is Donzel Oak here? Nobody invited him. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, we have Drolago. Hmm. We can destroy a card. Uh, he's a warrior too, so we can't attack. So I think the key play is to get rid of Donzel Luke first. So we can then actually attack him. Drolago. When they're only face of monsters of 16 or more. Oh. Yeah, I need to read my cards. I kind of screwed that up. So we were supposed to destroy. Um, we were supposed to destroy Marauding Captain. Because with Marauding Captain gone, Drolago allows us to attack directly. So offerings to the doomed. Uh, get rid of Marauding Captain. And then I'm going to summon Drolago. Uh, and then we're going to activate Mystic Plasma Zone. This will also boost up Zondaloo too, so it makes it more than 1900 attacks. So now we can attack directly. Uh, attack. Yes, attack directly. Gaiba. All right, cool. Uh, we're almost done here, everybody. I appreciate the patience. We are super close to done with these tests. This is the Master of Oz one. Oh, it's St. Joan. Uh, we got Call of the Haunted, Vorce Raider, Cathedral of Nobles. Oh, it's this one. The control of this car can activate traps on the turn they are directly summoned. Additionally, by sending a Musical Beast Scourge to the graveyard on your side of the field, you may select one monster from your hand deck or fusion deck. Special summon it. Kind of OP. It's actually, like, this thing was actually insane. Set one monster from your gra from your field to the grave and then summon anything else to replace it. Kind of busted. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Did I forget to activate the magic card first? Is that what I did wrong? That's what I did wrong. That's funny. All right. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm like, I, I like it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, this is one of the things that, like, this thing does teach you pretty well. Is like, you know, the matter, like, the order of everything matters. Which is fine. I like that. So, Cathedral of Nobles is now activated. So, we're going to tribute off our Voice Raider. Uh, Mystical Beast Curse Kid. It's healed. Uh, we're going to activate Cathedral of Nobles. We're going to send it to the graveyard. Uh, we only have one. Uh, we have a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Hell yeah. I'll summon a Blue Eyes White Ultimate Dragon. Yeah. So this allows us to do 20 or what is it? Like 17? 17. So we're missing 2,100 points of damage. Um, Unless my math is wrong. If my math is wrong, then cool. Uh, no, that's 17 plus 16 or 19 is 36. So we're good. We win. All right. So blue eyes ultimate dragon attack over St. Joan. 
And then with that being done, we can then go into our trap card being called the Haunt and bring back the Force Ray that we sacrificed initially in the start of the game. Because if we bring back Mystical Beast Skurskit, we're just going to lose anyway because we can't attack and I'll just auto die. There we go. GG. All right. So six more. <clears throat> um, Skull Servant, Skull Servant. Yo, we're, put, we're playing King of the Skull Servant. Hell yeah, this dude is so cool. The original text, this monster becomes the number of the King of the Skull Servants, the Skull Servants in the graveyard times a thousand. When this card is destroyed, it's sent to the graveyard. As a result, the battle removed from play one King of the Skull Servant or Skull Servant in your graveyard. Special summon him. This dude is just so cool. I lo it's such a classic card. I love this guy. Tribute to the Doom, hell yeah. All right, cool. So we get the Pinch of Skull Servant to destroy uh, the fusion monster. What is it, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Yeah, it is. All right, cool, cool. This should bring him at 3K. Yeah, all right, then we just attack directly for game. I actually built an IRL deck of Game of the Skull Servant because it's just so much fun. It's a classic, fun beatdown deck, and with the new support, it actually does have quite a bit of a combo wombos. All right, so we just have to do five more and we're good. Mother Grizzly, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, and a Blue Eyes. Um, yo, we're playing, uh, ha ha ha. I like this. We're actually playing uh, Death Frog. So we're going to do Graceful Charity first. We'll draw three, and I think we want to discard the Tadpole. But I need to check what Death Frog does. You can summon any Death Frogs from your hand or deck up to the number of Tadpoles in your graveyard. Okay, yeah, yeah. So what we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is actually discard the copies of Tadpoles already in our hand. So get rid of those guys. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, decide. Next, what we'll do is we'll sacrifice the Mother Grizzly, and then that allows us to summon our Death Frog. And since we have two Tadpoles in the graveyard, it allows us to summon the other Death Frogs in our hands, which is important. Very important. Because we have two in the grave, so we can summon up to two. <laughs> and then with all three Death Frogs in play, it allows us to activate the all-powerful Death Croaking, which destroys all things on our opponent's side of the field, which is kind of stupidly great. Is it everything or just monsters? Destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field. I love it. Death Frog hype. Not a very good deck, but like, you know, frogs are, you know, they're pretty awesome. You got to love frogs. And then 19 times three equals 57. So we are good. GG, folks. They needed to give us 10 minutes for that combo. Nah, we good. We uh, wait, why do we go all the way to 39? <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we just need to do five. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, Toon Dark Magician Girl, uh, Graceful Charity, and they have two Blue Eyes by Dragons on the field. Got you. Uh, we'll start with Graceful Charity, see what we draw into. Ooh, Gilosaurus. That's, I think, what we need to work with. So we're going to discard the Dark Magician number one and Dark Magician number two. So with those guys in the graveyard, this is actually pretty good. So then we could special summon uh, Gilosaurus. Oh no, he's got a third blue eyes. What am I going to do? Uh, we'll activate Toon World. Guy, my boy. And then uh, we're going to special summon uh, the Toon Dark Magician Girl. Which now puts her at 26 due to the fact that she has th two Dark Magicians in the graveyard. Uh, and I think I think she can attack directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can do this before I read the card, but let's just go for it anyway. Like, why would I read a Yu-Gi-Oh card? No, we don't do that. <laughs> and, oh, we got, oh, yo, we get to do the Jade and Yuki play. Hell yeah, we got Avion. Oh, cool, 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 cool. All right, so here's what we do. So we're going to use... I think I fucked it up. Yeah, I fucked that up. All right, uh, start over. <laughs> uh, so Fusion Gate, we can't use cards in our hand, only on our side of the field. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're fine. 
So wait, why won't it let me use fusion? Oh, here we go. Fusion gates effect now. So use fusion gate. So we're gonna summon an elemental hero flame wingman. So good, so good, so nostalgic, so nostalgic. All right, so I'm bringing out the big boy. So flame wingman is on board. He's large and it's charged. So we're gonna give him fusion weapon. This brings his base up attack up to 36. And then this will bring it up to 4,000. And then uh, this is not enough. Or is it? No. It's not. So, wait, can we use cards in our hand? Or did I just misread it? Am I that bad? Fusion materials are used and they're not something to but removed from play. So can you use Fusion Gate? Because if we attack, it's only 4,000. It's not enough to win the game. So we're gonna try to do something different. So the third time's a charm. You can, okay, cool. Oh, well, I guess I misread that. So here's what we actually need to do. So we're gonna summon Sukiyomi, flip the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon face down defense position, and then, for whatever reason, I thought with Fusion Gate, they had to be on the field. I thought that was like one of the downsides with Fusion Gate, but I guess not. Was it a ratter or something? I don't know. All right, so we're good now. So summon the Flame Wingman. And then we pretty much give him everything under the sun. So then he'll be up to 4,000. So he'll attack over blue eyes. It'll be 12. And then flame wingman's effect will trigger, dealing an extra 45. So that'll put him down to 52. And then Tsukiyomi can just attack for game and, you know, that that that's game. This will do 4,000 in total flame wingman's effect. Look at that go. It's so good. And then Tsukiyomi just attacks directly because why not? Uh, let's see. Next one, we have the Delinquent Duo. We have Guardian Sphinx. Nice, I like it. Um, this card is flip summon and returns all monsters you put inside the field to be the owner's hand. We're gonna do that. Why would I need to... Would I need to do that? Um... Do they have Karibo or something in their hand, maybe? What are they discarding? Let's take a look. What did they discard, chat? Yeah, they, they have Karibo. Okay, okay, so they have Karibo. So they're at 15. So Donzaluga's at 15, and this guy's at, you know, whatever, so that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna have Donzaluga attack. If they have a third Karibo, they have to do it, otherwise we can just pitch off their card in their hand. They're, they're good, all right, we win. GG. Uh, Cause we got all rid of all the Karibo, so we're good. Uh, one, two, three, and then we have four. So number 24 should be the last one. We get to end it with a fusion too. The dude has 8,000 attack or light points and we get to just to deal with Master of Dragon Soldier. All right, cool, cool. Let's figure this out. Uh, we have Cannon Soldier. Limiter removal, scape, go ooh. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Doubles the attack of all phase of monster control when you activate this card. Hell yeah. All right, this is gonna be fun. Watch this. So we're gonna activate scapegoat. No, not gonna use this yet. So, scapegoat triggers, we get four monsters on the field, so we have five in total, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate United We Stand. And then we're gonna give a Cannon Soldier that card. This is gonna boost them up to 5,400. And then we activate Limiter Removal. Puts the dude up to 10,800, hell yeah. All right, uh, go to combat. And then we're gonna swing over Master of Dragon Soldier. 58 to the face, and then we go to main two. So for those who don't know, Cannon Soldier has a unique effect where you can tribute a monster to deal 500 points of damage. So we do that with the scapegoats four times for a total of 2,000. And then for the fifth one, we can actually tribute off Cannon Soldier himself for his effect, um, which puts him down from 200 down to zero. So we got it. See, uh, it's elementary, my dear Waltson, and then we win. All right, so that's 25 time duels in the bat. The next time that we take our exam, that should allow us to progress over to like, what do you say? Uh, superior duels or some shit like that. We are good. Uh, Sunday, anything going on? Uh, all the raw yellows are there. Chumley, yo, Chumley, let's go. No, 
Uh, Slide for red, nothing's happening. Jaden's by the dorm. I, I kind of hate to do this, but today is going to be one of those days where it's a lazy Sunday. You'll wake up in the late afternoon, but you don't do anything. You just go back to sleep. <laughs> we just spent the entire time playing games or something. Let me think. I guess I like volleyball better than tennis. Back in my day, I was known as the queen of... That did not age well. <laughs> Don't be surprised. I'm not that old. Oh, man. That, that did not age, Konami. That did not age well, but that's hilarious. Welcome, Gradius. Take a look around. Select a pack. Oh, we can get something. Uh, I, mean, I guess... We still have 4B in stock. Oh, we still have 4B. We're going to go for that 4B, baby. All right, what do we get? Something good, please. Space Mambo. First Stinted Tricks. Oh, we got the Ritual card. Uh, honestly, nothing good. Nothing good. Uh, anything actually going on in the next few days? Look at our schedule. This is where... Oh, we get our allowance on Monday. Hell yeah. An event's happening on March 14th. That's Pi Day, 3.14. Hell yeah. Uh, new pack on that day. Do you have an exam? April 2nd allowance. Uh, new pack. And then... Uh, Nothing is happening. What the hell? Beard. Um, honestly, yeah, let's just do another lazy weekend. Uh, we're just going to be gaming. Uh, what game will we play? We're going to play Rocket League. Well, let's just play Rocket League all night. And then, uh, yo, Gameplay Boy, thank you for the lyric, man. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, nothing happening over here. And uh, we didn't really enjoy Rocket League too much, so we're just going to... Actually, uh, we'll actually do Alexis. Let's do Alexis. Good choice <laughs> decision. Dude, our dude was actually pissed off at the end of the game. Uh, canonically, after he played Rocket League, he just uninstalled the game. He'll play it again later. He just uninstalled it, though. Pot of Greed with the Morphing Jar combo? We're going to be drawing for days. All right, so we're going to go for this. Molten Destruction is not bad, as long as they don't open up with, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Heavy Storm. So I guess what we could do is just drop Great Angus and pass turn. He's got a lot of back row. Honestly, we don't really have a boss monster per se in this deck, so I'm actually kind of just contemplating about throwing in Jinzo, just so we don't have to deal with the back row. He also is a dark type, I believe, so if we decide to go into like the pseudo chaos build, we can also do that too. And just dub the Molten Chaos. Oh my god, what a good hit. That was like a really good, good hit. <laughs> that was such a good hit. All right, uh, go to combat, swing at the face down card. Outstanding Dog Morin. Yo, this dude is so good. He's such a good boy. Anytime he gets into the gravity, he just goes back into the deck and shuffle it. He's a good boy. He's so dedicated. Fun enough, like, actually, Light Swarm players used to play that card just because it prevented them from decking themselves out. Not a smart, actually, if you think about it. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Yo, let's go. All right. Uh, full... Not yet. So we're going to summon Ultimate Baseball Kid. Uh, no trap hole or anything like that. So we're going to use Morphing Jar's effect to just basically pitch three to draw five. Uh, premature Burial. That's good. That's actually really good. Call the Haunt. Oh, man. We actually kind of set her up pretty good with that because now she actually has targets in the grade that are decent. Uh, but that's still nothing to like we're good we actually load up with a bunch more traps so i'm actually okay with that uh we can then uh just activate premature burial we can bring back little chimera we do have our field spell on the field so it's actually going to be at 15 or 16 so it's not like it's weak and it's also going to boost up our baseball kit to like what 3k 35k oh gotcha 
Um, let's see, we can also, if we wanted to use Compulse to recycle our uh, Morphing Jar, so we're kind of set. All right, so we're gonna have the Great Angus attack the face down. Oh, shit! Why did I use Baseball Kid? <laughs> Um, no, that's fine. Oh, uh, I mean, it's. It's not the worst thing that could have happened, but it's just not fun. Oh, like I was after I made that attack declaration, I'm like, wait, shouldn't I just attack the guaranteed monster first? I should have done that. Fox of Doom, May 6th Sage Games. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you both. Hope you both are doing well. <laughs> Oh, my pride. <laughs> it's fine. Ending the main phase. All right, good. Let's go. Uh, Spirit of Flames. Oh, we can make that work, actually. Fine, how about you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, tired, but doing good. We just spent, like, a good chunk of the stream actually just doing time duels, because apparently we need to do that for our next rank. So we got those out of the way and actually are making some good progress now. We also made some uh, uh, deck edits and upgrades, which is definitely much needed. So I'm actually pretty excited to showcase some of that. Uh, off stream, we actually pulled some really good cards like uh, Premature Burial, Mage Power, things of that nature. So like we can now start doing some good stuff. ETM is a goaded mod. He's been, I think, mod almost since like day one. I mean, I know the dude for almost 20 years, so I'm pretty sure he's trustworthy. Yo, outstanding dog Marin, let's go. So good, so good. Uh, Ultimate Baseball Kid, UBK, a swing for some good damage. Ooh, woo. What does she got? Numerous healer. Oh, that's not too bad. It says numerous healer, but there's only one. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, unless Alexis has like Dark Hole and Rigeki, we're good. Just grind a Dokkan battle? Nice! Glad to hear it. I actually played Dokkan Frat Battle for a little bit, but I kind of stopped playing it because I kind of felt like I had enough mobile games at the moment going on. And I was and like all I was really doing was just like logging into play. But Dokkan Battle is good. Have they dropped in have they added like the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie content into it yet or no? We'll use Compulse to actually bounce that back for security. So much more stuff in now. I think I uninstalled the game myself like six months to a year ago. Um, but I'm glad to hear they're constantly updating more of it. What did the horse say after it tripped? Help, I fall and I can't giddy up. But seriously, when a horse falls over, like, it's really sad. It's very sad. But that joke was funny. <laughs> Thank you for the joke, Mr. Sage. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. No events here. Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, Game of One, Two, Three, Pan Go, Ten Tunks. Honestly, sorry, Chumley, I didn't mean to talk to you. <laughs> like, I, I love and I dislike Beast Gohan. I like the colors. I think if they just didn't have Gohan's hair super ridiculously high and super spiky, I think I'd be okay with it. Um... I don't know, like, the height of that hair, man. It's just... It looks like it's doing more damage to the Ozo layer than anything. You know what I'm saying? What about the grilled cheeses? Uh, it's more like a char-broiled grilled cheese because he's standing next to a volcano. Piccolo's the best defensive unit in the game. That's awesome. Piccolo is a great... I love Piccolo's character. He's uh, Gohan's true... He's, like, the best father figure in Dragon Ball. Hands down. Ah, good idiots. I've been looking for you. Your family sent your money again this month. Here's a thousand dual points. Don't waste your dual points. Use them. No, we're going to burn them. We're going to burn them right now. Actually, no. We'll wait for the new pack to drop and then we'll burn them. Because we already bought uh, Trap Collection 2. We're going to wait for the next set. Haha, <laughs> what's wrong, Gradius? Dropping out our. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's just drop out. Just like the loser, if you don't want to try, then get out of here. Yo, chess sucks. I'm sorry. And after all those years, they're going to release Urza for the I, uh, IR Intel. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's right. Because, uh, like, there's intelligence, agility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, thinking, wait, what? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, like, uh, certain characters and, like, your whatever, like, you know, their strength. 
uh, intelligence and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the hydrate ATM. All I have is Diet Pepsi, but I, I appreciate you, man. Um, really? Sub all channel four can do 22 millions of damage. That's impressive. Is it regular? Is it perfect cell? Super perfect cell or just cell max? Uh, I'm pretty sure we've defeated him enough. Do we have a way to check our records? Dual direction. Then a dual. We still don't have Chaz or Alexis's number. Why? Maybe when we become Obelisk Blue, we might actually get through. Maybe we want, that's like what we have to do first. So we've done 65 duels. And we've only lost one. When transform into intelligence, super perfect. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm sliding to the DM metal. Hey, we're trying, man. We're trying. <laughs> we're trying, dude. Uh, let's see. Like, one. So the only complaint I have with this game is that you don't really have a record of how many times you duel people. Uh, because if you did, then you would know like how many times you need to beat somebody to activate certain events. Ooh, we're going first. Other than that, I really do like this game. Yo, we got Pot of Greed turn one. And a UFO turn. It's like Christmas. Giant Shrewnade. Okay, okay. We'll summon UFO turn, and then we'll just pass our turn. The max is not a playable card, but it's an extremely difficult event. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, if since Cell Max is such a really big character, it would make sense to delegate him to like being like a raid boss or something like that. So that's actually kind of smart they're doing it that way. United we stand. Ooh. We're going to be taking, uh, what is it, like 12 or 14? 1,200. That's not too bad. Uh, with that happening, we can then special summon. We can special summon back, uh, Ultimate Baseball Kid, then summon Little Chimera, and then just start doing some massive damage on our own. So we're good. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, because we can use Premature Burial to bring back the uh, UFO Turtle. And then we can summon an Ultimate Baseball Kid. It's going to get boosted from Little Chimera and also Molten Destruction. So we're kind of good. Um, and honestly, I think at this point, we don't even need to really use Giant True Name to get rid of this. This thing's at 26. Not a big deal. We have a 3,500 attack three-star monster. We're fine. <laughs> Six months ago before the eighth anniversary on Global. That's impressive. I for, didn't even realize it was that long going out. What are, are they doing anything fun for the eighth anniversary or they have not released the details yet? I'm, I'm sorry. Like the ultimate baseball kid molten destruction combo is just so strong. Hard destruction. Uh, that's fine. Yo, Snatch Steel, let's go and Spirit of Flames, hell yeah. Oh, wait, wait, you can't use Snatch Steel on... Ugh, that's one of the dumb things with Snatch Steel. You can't use it on a face-down monster, but it's fine. Uh, we'll Special Summon Spirit of Flames. Thank goodness, nothing actually happened. Uh, we'll Sacrifice... I don't really need... Yeah, we don't need UFO Turtle. We could sacrifice UFO Trail of Summon Thestelios to be able to destroy one of the cards in her hand. Call the Haunted. Numerous healer. Oh. So this will bring up Ultimate Baseball Kid to like, what, 4k? 45k. That's a lot of k's. Uh, Thestalos, the Firestorm Monarch Attack, the face down card. Ooh, we're good. All right. Uh, and then we could just one shot her at this point. For the 8th anniversary, the new Legendary Rare are the Duo SS3 Goku SSA. Two Vegeta from the Majin Buu Saga. Dual GT Kid Goku version. And, oh, that's actually pretty cool. I do like that. Maybe I'll look into... Maybe I'll like see like what the newcomer rewards are. And I'll see if I'll uh, jump back into Dokkan Battle. Yes, the Direct is a little uh, seven over uh, hours. Which I think Pika was talking about that as well. Before everybody jumped in as well. Honestly, dude, I've... I saw something floating around on Twitter where this person was saying that there's 
they're either hoping for or there's a leak that it's Pokemon Legends The Burned Tower, which is some of the backstory and the lore for the Johto series, which I would absolutely love if they did like a Legends Arceus in Johto before they had everything like, you know, set out in stone. And like what they did with like, you know, the Legends Arceus game. Um, I would also love, of course, to see like them bringing over the classic Pokemon games or just confirming that they're coming over to the Switch console things. And uh, maybe a new Pokemon DLC for Scarlet and Violet or maybe even a stability patch. Um, but those are my hopes, ATM. What about you, dude? Do you have any hopes? Pokemon Let's Go Johto would also be pretty sick. I would also be hyped for that as well. Can we duel him? Oh, we can actually duel our professor. Yeah, let's do it. I did see a potential Pokemon Mystery Dungeon released by Spike Chunsoft, team behind Dokoropa and I I and the Solomon Files. I mean, I've never I've never actually jumped in the Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon series. Are they good? Pokemon is uh like I usually don't actually play a lot of the spin-off games. Like I'm I'm kind of not dedicated. Like, uh, even, like, the closest, like, spinoff game I probably play with Pokemon is, like, of course, like, the stadium games in Pokemon Snap. Like, that's pretty much it. What kind of games are they? Are they, like, turn-based, or are they kind of more, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, uh, beat-em-ups? That's the term I'm looking for. So, an ultimate baseball kid. Uh, Great Angus isn't bad. Uh, we got Mystical Space Type. That's actually pretty good. It's an equip card, so it makes sense why you can't. Yeah, it really does. It really does, Mystic Sage, but I'm kind of like, I just wish I could. Like, you can change a fire to face down monster, which is kind of cool, but I'm like, I want to do damage. Rank 455. Nice. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations. That's, that's pretty, that's like globally, right? Like, you're ranked globally. Unfortunately, Ultimate Baseball Kid is still kind of low, but we do have Trap Hole to protect ourselves. It's like Persona Q, but top down. Persona Q is, uh. It's kind of like first person view, right? Nice, impressive, Fox of Doom. Nice job. I don't even remember what. I never, like, tried doing much BVP or anything like that. So I'm assuming my uh, ranking wasn't that high. We got another copy of MST, so we're going to save that for later. For now, though, we have enough for Ultimate Baseball Kid to be somewhat relevant, so we'll attack the face down. Of course. Of course. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's always, uh... We have Sakuretsu's armor, so we don't need to really get, uh, Snatch Steel right now. Because it's just gonna, Space Mambo is just gonna die anyway from Sakuretsu's armor. We gotta keep the ultimate baseball kit. Gotta keep the ultimate baseball kit alive. Hey, another Sakuretsu's armor. I will take it. Uh, we will summon another Great Dengus. Um, And then, since we're gonna be doing the same thing again, probably using uh, Sakuretsu's armor to get rid of their face down card, there's no reason why than using Magician of Faith to bring back uh, Snatch Steel. We're just gonna kind of do the same thing we did. Hey. Heavy storm. I mean, that's fine. We'll summon Blazing and Pachi. Um, 25, 25. We'll attack over because we could still win with the 150 light points of spare. Oh my God, a second penguin soldier. Oh my God, this dude is savage. <laughs> Damn, I, I, I mean, it's not even limited or semi-limited, so I... Oh, man, I can't blame him for that. The Penguin Soldier is strong, man. Uh, you're attacking Ultimate Baseball Kid? That's fine. Uh, we will go with this. Would you count Solomon Great as meta to Master Duel? Um, I don't think it's like... I mean, it's probably meta, right? I don't think it's like, you know, super top tier, but it's still pretty meta, right? Like, it's very consistent in the uh, PvP section, right? Honestly, with Master Duel, the majority of the time that I've been playing is like in the Legendology event and also the Exceed Festival. Um, but from what I've seen, I would say, yeah, it's probably meta. 
Um, and we are gonna go to M2, and we're gonna use Ultimate Baseball Kid's effect to send Little Chimera to go for 500 for the win. <laughs> it's actually irrelevant, let's go. Well done, perfect tactics and strategy. I feel like making you my assistant. Why are you making that face? You had no role really in the series. I'm sorry, dude. Satire, he seemed like he was a pretty cool dude. Pretty wholesome dude. But like, they just didn't do anything really with his character. I think they made like one episode on him, but that's really like it. Um, <laughs> if we want an easy duel, just go to Zane. But no, we're good. We'll just go to our dorm. Like, we're sleeping a hell of a lot in this episode. We're pretty much just breezing by March at this point. The thing is, we're trying to go to Obelisk Blue. Um, because I think the Yugi event actually happens on its own right here. So, hopefully March 14th. Wait, no, that happens in the AM. The Obelisk, the, the Yugi event thing... That happens at night, but maybe they change it for the game. I don't know. I don't remember to, for this game. So, uh, we're just gonna go to sleep. Welcome, guys. Let's take a look around. Ah, uh, no, we're good. By the way, for those who think you could just use passwords to play this game, no, like this shit is expensive, like super expensive. Like I think a graceful charity is like 10k. Today is March 14th, Reverse Valentine's Day. Is that actually a thing in the real world? But since no one gave me chocolate, it doesn't matter. Next Friday, as a dorm switch exam, I've decided the theme of the practical exam will be fusion summons. You have to fusion summon monsters during this duel. Not only do you need to fusion monsters, but you also need to correct spell cards in your deck. If you don't, tension will be the least of your worries. Okay, I guess we're going to build Jaden's deck or something. Hey, it's Gradius. Oh, speaking of Jaden, you head back to the dorm, right? Let's walk home together. Yeah, we'll go home together. We gotta hang out with the boy. I think what we'll do is, yeah, on Saturday, we're gonna go buy some packs. We're gonna go buy, uh, we're gonna go buy some packs. Do you recommend this game? Um, if you like the overall aesthetic and the uh, simplicity of it, Mystic Sage, yeah, I would definitely recommend this game. However, um, if you have a DS, honestly, I would probably, I don't have it with me, but I would probably recommend Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Callers after or before. I would recommend this one because with Spirit Caller, it's much more um, straightforward to actually get certain events to happen. There's more card pools. You can also get your own dual spirit. You can customize your character to some extent with its appearance. And of course, it had the Wi Fi thing. And it had this really interesting um, stylus connection system where you would move around your stylus to find certain things like characters and stuff like that in duels um, or the GX Tag Force game. But it's still, this game is still pretty good. Yeah, the DS game is cool. Spirit Caller is really fun. Oh, shit. Yo, we got three new packs in stock. Actually, four. We got the Machines, Invitation to the Dark, and Special Ways. Special Ways is hella expensive. The other game I like the DS is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trubador. I have not played Trubador, actually. I've been meaning to at some point. Trubador does seem kind of fun. Yo, look at that JPEG. It's cut into like four pieces. I don't understand. They're like, are these special packs? Because they have different icons on the bottom. Oh, I know they were always there. I just never looked at it before. <laughs> um... I guess we're gonna buy some fusion packs, maybe? We don't, uh, I guess we gotta go for the fusion packs. We gotta get ready for our exam with fusion cards anyway. Yo, Black Skull Dragon and a fusion gate? Hell yeah, let's go. That's actually got, ooh, Thousand Dragon. Yo, feeling Joey Wheeler tonight. 
Fusion Gate is good. We're gonna probably have to use Fusion Gate quite a bit, actually. And this is good, this is good. We can actually use Fusion Gate in tandem with uh, terraforming and hopefully get some fusions. So that's actually pretty good. Um, uh, I think we're also going to, we're gonna go also with the infamous 4B. Fusion Gate's broken. Oh, it's really good in this game. Especially like at this point. For Stinatrix, Clayman, that's good. Um, let's see. So that's just, this is a lot of the Lost Millennium stuff. Yeah, this is definitely a Lost Millennium. Refusions, not bad. Master Monk, no! Oh, we could have pulled any other super ultra rare and been better, but Master Monk is just so niche. All right, so... You love Master Monk? For me, he's just very niche. He's cool in theory, but I just never was a huge fan. I'm kind of curious. Does anybody know if you like dueling in unusual ways? I recommend this pack if you want to construct a dark deck. Oh, Sadie, uh, you're wholesome. <laughs> um, What's the description of 4B? A lot of helpful, oh my goodness, she, this has a lot of helpful cards, damn. Oh wait, actually all the cards have helpful cards. Okay, okay, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we'll get some more fusion stuff, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'd i hope they would help. Fusion gate again, that's good, that's good. More, ooh, Master, Meteor Black Dragon and Master of Oz. Yo, we got our play set of fusion gate, let's go. I mean, we can search out Fusion Gate. We can't, I don't think we can search out Polymerization really, unless we get Fusion Sage, so that's actually fine. Um, but yeah, I think we will just go for a Fusion build at this point. I mean, we had a have to with the event. I feel like, I'm actually kind of curious. We're gonna check out Special Ways, everybody. We're gonna check out Special Ways. Master of Oz at 42 is pretty OP, absolutely. We got a piece of Exodia. Oh man, that was so not worth it. Oh wait, is this like a three card pack? This, oh my God. This pack, it costs 400 you only get three cards. Just to put it in perspective, every other pack is five cards and it's either between one to 200. Oh, we got scammed by Sadie. Oh, I thought I could trust her, but I guess I couldn't. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, how much is this completion? Uh, what, we can't tell? Oh, 77%, I'm bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll finish off with fusions. We'll just finish off with fusion packs. Guy, <laughs> yo, let's go. Blue eyes, white, or ultimate dragon? Do we have have blue eyes? We also have Gale Dagra. Which would be kind of cool, but Gale Dagra is not that good. At the pay, a cost of 3,000 life points, you can discard a fusion monster from your fusion deck to the graveyard. Like, Gale Dogger got better as time goes on, but I don't think it's, like, that good right now. So, interesting stuff for next. Well, we gotta, we gotta do a fusion deck. So, we do have one blue eyes, but it's not enough. Yeah, we do have a fusion deck to build. Honestly, we'll probably just do things like Baby Dragon. We'll probably like have like some Joey influence for sure. So we can make Thousand Dragon. We know that for a fact. Uh, we have Red Eyes Black Dragon and Meteor Black Dragon. So we can make Meteor Black Dragon. Uh, let's see. We can make Carla Banala Warrior right here. Yeah, we got Time Wizard. Oh yeah, it's much better in today's format. Because like with Gale Dagra in today's format, you can send things like Herald of Arclight and a bunch of other things, and it just works. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of fusion stuff already. We do have Summon Skull, I believe. So Red Eyes actually might be a driving force for this fire deck, though. Or, I'm sorry, this fusion deck we'll have to build. Let's, 
I'll probably actually have the deck built uh, before we go stre uh, stream this again next Sunday. Um, so we'll, we'll, I'll make a deck and we'll just take it to the exam. One blue eyes ultimate drag. We can't even do anything with it. Uh, I don't think we can build guilt. Uh... Um, let's see. Oh, we only have, oh man, I was really hoping if we had two co or three copies of Thousand Thunder Dragon, that'd be great because we could discard one, grab two, and then use Fusion Gate, make Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, but that's not going to work. Punished Eagle. Wait a minute. Blue, Wing Crown, and Annihilatory. We actually have that. Uh, let's see. Flower Wolf we can make. Flower Wolf is Silver Fang and uh, Rainbow Flower, right? Oh, Dark World Thorns. We do have Dark World Thorns. Yeah, we'll have to find an interesting... There it is, Dark World Thorns. We'll have to find an interesting balance on be able to make the fusions as quickly as possible and consistent. Um, and honestly, I think what we'll do is we might just make like a very quick deck to focus on ramping out fusions as fast as possible. And then maybe using certain things to buff them, such as Metal Morph, uh, Mage Power, and things of that nature. So we'll probably just like make one fusion monster or two and then just go from there. Yeah, Meteor Black Dragon. We already saw Red Eyes earlier, so that's good. Burfamit. We have Kazel because we can make Chimera than the Flying Mythical Beast. Yeah, so we'll have some homework to do. We'll definitely have some homework to do. We got one copy of Polymerization. That's good. I did not think we actually had Polymerization. Um, do we even have Fusion Sage? Fusion Sage would be amazing. If not, we can always just use cards like uh, Graceful Chariot, I'm sorry, uh, Pot of Greed, and uh, what's it called? Uh, Morphing Jar, just to like draw and go through our deck as fast as possible. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Nah, that's not going to work. <sighs> jar of Greed uh, could be good just for a one for one. We have three copies or four copies of Fusion Gate. We have eight copies of Fusion Gate. What the hell? What did that happen? I mean, we got a playset, so that's fine. It's not even limited or semi-limited or anything. Reckless Greed might be in for the deck, too. Just so we can really speed through our deck. These two make a Fusion Monster, so that's good. We could also make Master of Oz, too, because I saw Big Koala. I know we have Desk Kangaroo, too. Yeah, there they are. I love how a lot of them are, like, paired together. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Ojama Delta Hurricane. Yo, should we build a... No, I don't think we can... I don't even know if we can actually build Ojamas. You can't use it. Yeah, Metamorphosis would be amazing. It would be really fun to use, too, because we could just, like, make some a pseudo goats. Pseudo goat format. Um, Red Eyes B Chick. Oh, that's... Yo, we got Ojama King? Hell yeah. Master of Oz. Sand... Oh, wait. Witch of the Black Forest is banned. We can't use Sandwich. Though Sandwich would be pretty cool to use, actually. I would love to use. Yo, we have Dark Blade the Dragonite. Okay, cool. That's another one we can use. Dark Blade being an 1800 attack monster himself is actually pretty decent. So that's good. I think we'll probably put a Mystic Plasma Zone just to make it more stronger. Too. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. so we have Clay Clayman, Avion, Bersinatrix, Sparkman, but we don't have their fusion. I don't think we have any of the heroes. That's kind of like what's preventing me from building human or heroes. We got Spark. I thought it was this. Wasn't this called Spark Blaster? I'm surprised actually what was Spark Gun in the game. That's actually kind of impressive to actually sleep through. We only have one copy. Of, so we can't play Des. Oh, we can't do the Frog Engine. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Um. Honestly, we actually have more fusion stuff than I gave myself credit for, which is kind of good. So with that being said, I think we are good to end the stream here. This is actually probably a good time. It'll give me some time to get ready to build the next deck uh, easily throughout the week. We'll probably do that actually on Wednesday or something. 
And then uh, we'll pick up uh, Sonic Frontiers on Wednesday, too. I think we're getting close to the end of Sonic Frontiers, and that's going to be pretty cool. Good night, bro. Appreciate it, Fox and Doom. You as well. Have a good night. You as well, Mystic Sage. Appreciate you as well. At that point, what I think what we'll do here... Uh, Squidward was streaming uh, Magic the Gathering. I think we're going to go drop Squidward uh, just dropping in to see what he's up to. He's currently streaming uh, Magic the Gathering. And he said he was not stopping until he gets three wins in a row, or five wins in a row on uh, Arena. So I'm kind of serious how this is going. Thanks for the stream. No worries. No, Mystic Sage, thank you. thank you for dropping in, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. It's always much appreciated. Everybody have a great rest of your night. I will see you all on uh, Wednesday. We'll be going back into Sonic Frontiers. Um, and yeah, appreciate you guys all. I will uh, see you in the next stream. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.